Nobody cries alone in a room with runaway June's Jennifer Wing. Singer Naomi Cook says she knew that, but she learned it again when the trio first heard We Were Rich, their new radio single, and the latest release from Blue Roses. The song hit all three members and new member Natalie Stovall, but Cook's attachment to it is unique. I'm Billy Dukes with Taste of Country, and we want to know what lyric in this song you relate to the most. I'm totally a flashlight tag kind of guy, but if you're more rabbit ears TV kind of person, give this video a thumbs up. Ross Copperman, Nicole Gallion, and Ashley Gorley wrote We Were Rich, a traveling acoustic flashback that shows appreciation for the little privileges of childhood. This song really is a conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, as soon as someone hears it, it takes them back to that place and they can't wait to share what their story is. And that's my favorite part of it so far. Sonically Runaway June didn't make many changes after hearing the demo for the song. In fact, they even brought Copperman back in to help with the final mix. We didn't have it all, but we all thought we did, the group sings. And Mama always said that we were blessed and I believed her. I never thought the grass was greener on the other side of our old chain link fence. Yeah, we were rich. Cook grew up the fifth of 10 kids in her family, and when she heard this song, she couldn't believe how close some of the lyrics were to her actual raising. I grew up pretty poor. Um, neither one of my parents are educated, and um, they had a lot of kids, so we had like a really humble home. Um, and I, I lived in a school bus for a while, too. Um, but yes, my, my mom and my dad both um, have heard the song and, and just were like, felt really validated because they, even though we didn't have anything, you know, we had a, one bite to share between all of us or like, you know, we had to share toys, we had to share a bathroom. Um, they, I always felt loved, I always felt protected, I always felt like it was going to be okay. And, you know, that having, providing that for your child sets them up to be a strong adult in the world and that that's worth more than any toy you can ever buy. Bathroom sink. We'd all take turns, once a week go out to eat for pizza after church. She sings during a second verse that describes how important family and God were to the songwriters' lives. There's a lot of obvious ways this song can tear you up. Memories of mom or dad or those who've passed hit hard during a normal year, let alone a pandemic year when we can't see family. The bridge talks about leaving. And back there, they think I all made it. God knows I'd trade it for everything we had in that house. If you're getting emotional, call your mom and dad and get their reaction. The beauty of We Were Rich is how it crosses generational lines. I think for a parent to hear a song like this saying, we didn't have it all, but looking back, we know how hard you guys tried to make us feel safe and make us happy kids. Yeah is so powerful and so it's it really reaches such a broad spectrum of ages. Stovall replaced Hannah Mulholland in Runaway June in the spring of 2020 and she was asked to help recut the song by adding harmonies and her signature fiddle playing. She didn't really see that as an intimidating challenge because she connected to the song in a personal way too. It, to me, I could hear fiddle on it the second that I heard the song and so it, it didn't feel forced. And I knew it didn't need much, but it just, I wanted to add that texture. You know, that felt organic to me because it, it wasn't like I was trying to, well, I play fiddle, so let's stick a fiddle in. Like, yeah. right. it actually added to the nostalgia. Totally. And the crazy thing is, there was room for it. We Were Rich is a sweet turn of country nostalgia that already made Taste of Country's list of the 10 best songs of 2020. The song was chosen as a single to replace Head Over Heels, which the women say didn't feel relevant any longer once the pandemic started. At no point did they consider moving away from the song. Changes within the band were not going to force the group or their record label to skip past a song that just needed to be heard. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.